We have been working with verb tenses for a while now, so you should remember that where there is a regular verb, there's bound to be irregular verbs. The cool thing about the irregular verbs is that you only have to worry about three. And those are the three that you see displayed on your screen right now. There's not going to be any other added to this little group, and it's going to be ser. Ser, which you're going to use as used to be. And the pronunciations are era, eras, era, eramos, erais, eran. That is ser. Ver is used to see. Veía, veías, veía, veíamos, veíais, veían. Here you're going to have to be very careful because you have an accent on almost every eye that you see on this chart. The only other eye that is not um, accented is in just right here. And if we go back to ser, see that the E is the only one that's accented. Notice how in the yo and el, ella, and usted, we have the same verb being used. And then we move on to ir, which is used to go. Iba, ibas, iba, ibamos, ibais, iba. That means to go. These are the only three that you're going to have to worry about, guys. Here, we don't see the endings. You see the words written fully out. That concludes the lesson for the imperfect tense for right now. We are getting an introduction to what the imperfect tense is. Uh, as the lesson goes by, we're going to include more vocabulary and certain restrictions as to when you can actually use it. Right now, I just want you to get used to what the endings are going to be and the words that are being formed. Um, keep that in mind. There are going to be certain restrictions of when we can use the imperfect tense, and you're, and you're going to see those next week. I hope that you guys are doing well. Please take care of yourselves. And if you need anything, please contact me through Google Classroom or email me. Thank you.